this is day 14 of our bee study you can see the bees are doing really well they're doing really well and it's 10 a.m. on Saturday morning and this is uh, August 1st I think it's August 1st or 31st days. And this is the 31st. Today's the 31st. Bees are doing good. In these next two weeks we're, we'll have a second like a lesser honey flow and around August 1st some of the uh, the endemic species of trees here start to uh, come with a second blossom and the bees will go after that pollen so there's, there's sort of a, a second honey flow in about the third or fourth week of uh, August so this is the first two weeks of August that we're going through now coming into what I've noticed the bees are most active around 10 a.m. from about 8 a.m. to about 10 a.m. they're really really active most of the bees leave the hot and they start coming back in around 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, depending, probably depends upon how far they forage. But you can see, I don't, let me see. You can, they've got tons and tons of forage here. I mean, we're just, we're on the side of the mountain. It's, and, you know, five feet away. And it's just all trees, all trees, all trees, all kind of flowers flowering trees so they've got plenty of forage here yeah there's plenty of forage so I just wanted to get some more footage to add to the catalog what I'm doing essentially I'm doing the same same thing that I did over in Malaysia. I take video every day and just create a catalog, just to document everything. You know, seeing is believing. So there's our bee food. And most of the stuff I put in there yesterday, it's already gone. So they are foraging, they're taking up our bee food. And no doubt that. Uh, the encapsulated erythritol will become part of the matrix of this honey that's being produced. The only thing I'm going to have to take honey from each one of the, the hives that's being created right now. And in a couple of days, Joy and I will open the hive back up and do another inspection to see which of the hives is, is being uh, propagated. It's being filled up. Because we should have, we should have some. We've got six, uh, actually seven active panels in there. So we should have more. We should have at least two more panels that they'll be building on and make a new, new hive, a new comb. And we'll check that out in a couple of days. This is Saturday. We'll probably do it Monday. And we're supposed to have real hot weather for the next four or five days, so it's going to be in the 90s every day. So I'll be making a lot of honey over the next few days. Remember, this species of honeybee needs 97 degrees to make honey. So it's perfect for making honey for these little babies. They're zooming in right past my head. 
because I'm sitting here. Hey, pull that radio up. And thanks for sharing. I'm getting some good video here. You got hey. the cup ready? Oh, look how busy they are. Go look at that devil bug. Straight over there. You see where the pad is for the patio? Go okay, see where the uh see where your stick is? It's right on this face along that top. Straight over, walk straight, keep going, straight, 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 straight. To your left a little. To your left. Okay, see it right there? It's on the face of the pad. It looks like the devil. I got I got several and video. Honest to God, if you look at it a certain way, it looks like the devil. I'm not kidding you. I don't know. I, I got pictures of it, close-ups. It looks like the devil to me. It looks like a devil mask. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we'll put some food in it. Good idea. Yeah, we may as well feed him while we're out here. He's lining up. Intake, behave. Intake, behave. Busy night today. Yeah, you might want to. Let me wait a while to take that food in. I mean, there's. You know, they're coming in in the droves like 50 and 60 at a time. Look at that. Uh -huh. Yeah. They're all out foraging. You want some of my coffee? No, thanks. Right. Yeah, I just wanted to get. We don't have to stay long. We can just, mm -hmm. just want to get, just, just, you know, I'm trying to, <coughs> I'm going to keep that catalog like we did in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Then when it's all over with, we'll get Michael Shear or, or uh, Wayne Moore or somebody, you know, put together a nice video for us with all these, you know, put together a compendium. Uh -huh. Do a nice narrative. And yeah, a little documentary. A little documentary, yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't know it's Saturday. The bees. Right. I know. They don't know a Saturday. <laughs> hey. You mean the day off? Right. No such thing. No. He brought you out a chair. You like that? I appreciate that. I know. I That's thought, so thoughtful. I thought we should both have a chair out here. Thanks. Hang out and watch the bees. Yeah, uh, I think if we were going to 
do any scraping on there, we need to do it like in the evening. Oh yeah, definitely. No. Yeah, you don't want to be. No, we don't want to do it now. In fact, we don't even have to dump any bee food right now. We don't want to. And feel that breeze. Oh, that That's beautiful, lovely. huh? Mm -hmm. It doesn't get any nicer than this. What is it, about 70? About 72, 72. I would say about no 72 humidity. degrees. Yeah, that's the thing. Isn't no it? humidity. Yesterday there was no humidity. Beautiful. I think today is supposed to be similar to, uh, to yesterday. Yeah. Similar. 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 Similar, yeah. It's supposed <laughs> to be similar. Similar. Yeah. Oh, Tay gets so annoyed. Yeah, let's get that right. Hears people say similar. similar. Is that like <laughs> aluminum? <laughs> Aluminium. Well, that's how the Brits say it. Mm -hmm. Aluminium. Yeah, that bug over there. I got some pictures of it. It freaked me out. Well, I didn't realize, so I took maybe four or five close-ups of it. From the back, it looks like it looks like a face. It's it's a perfect example of Batesian mimicry and Eulerian well, mimicry. I think with, with that, you remember the the larva. That's I a said? cicada. That was probably it. Yeah, because I was looking at its body and, yeah. and the color and all, and the way it was the like one end of, of that larva it was like yeah. you know like a head. You know, like well, I think it's so got. That was probably one of those that yeah. the wasp was attacking. Well, how you tell is the eyes. It's got two sets of two eyes. It does. Yeah. I think it's neat. Did you ever study a bee's eye? Oh, there's a rogue. I see it. See it? That's a bumblebee. Look, the bumblebee's He's stealing going our after food. Our stuff. What's going to happen to him now? He's, He's stealing our bee food. See him, right there. He's stealing he's, that he's food. Bumblebee. The, that's Look, a bumblebee. That's a bumblebee. Look, the ones coming after. Look, they're attacking him. Yeah, that's cool. They're going after him. Yep. Are They'll they throw him out of the hive. Them? Look, they're fighting him. He's stealing. Look, he's he's covered in our bee food. Look at his pollen sack. He's going after. They're chasing him away. Chasing him away. Oh, he's still Look. coming back for more. No, the soldiers will come and get him. Watch and see. They'll chase him away. They'll send a signal up into the hive and the soldier, soldiers will come and get that thing. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm glad you're filming. I he can went see, in that I hive somewhere. I can see somewhere. him under there. That's a bumblebee. That's, you know, the traditional bumblebee. That's a bumblebee. They're, they're pollinators. They're honey. They, they make honey. But they're carnivorous as well. So they'll eat plant pollen and they'll eat, they'll eat meat too. They're meat eaters. Bumblebee. You know, like a wasp. You know, you saw that wasp trying to get that larva the other day. Mm -hmm. That blue wasp. That's what those are, those big long ones. They're called, there's the blue wasp, the black wasp. That one you saw the other day, that was a, a black wasp. Yeah. Their wings are, right their wings are about an inch and a half long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have a real thin body. Highly venomous, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they bite. Not only do they sting, they bite. They can bite you. They have real sharp jaws. There it is. There it is. Like you got run out of there. <laughs> it's he's, not, he's not finished though, he's no. determined. He likes our stuff. Yeah. Mr. Bumblebee. <coughs> Let me get out of there. See like that hive that we got rid of the other day? Okay, those wasps. Mm -hmm. Those wasps will actually come and attack this hive. And they won't go after the honey, they go after the bees. Oh, yeah. They'll literally go in and, and clean out all the brood. Mm -hmm. 
tear into the brood and eat the brood. So like a thousand of those bees can kill this colony in about an hour. Did you know that? About a thousand of those bees. So, you know, other beekeepers, if you find a, a colony, an errant colony, like a wild colony around your colonies, kill them. Get rid of them. Because they can come in, and they'll come in like just before, you know, see how, how our bees will, you know, create the, the scatter screen at night mm -hmm. to keep the temperature up in the hive. Those bees will come at night just before dark yeah, them. and clean them up. It only takes about a thousand of them. They'll go in and they'll, they'll, they'll kill the whole hive. About a thousand of them can clean that hive out in no time. Well, they're, they're you know, twice the size of these honeybees here. And japonica are even worse. You know, like we used to have up at 206, we had the japonicas up there, the great big ones, the Japanese, Japanese bees. Right away, yeah. Yeah, they're stingless bees, but, you know, they make honey. And they're meat eaters. They could come in and clean this hive out in an hour, kill a whole hive. So you, it's best just to keep an eye on, you know, the surroundings. I was commenting earlier on the amount of forage that here that's here for the bees. There's so much. You know, they don't have to go far at all. Yeah, we're coming into another bloom. Yeah. Cycle. Yeah, I commented on that as well. Yeah, golden rod. And up what way. are those other ones? Uh, Joe Pie Weed. Joe Pie Weed. Yeah, I yeah, sent you right. information about, about those. And, uh, the, yeah, and Mimosa Joe Pie Weed, P-Y-E, Pie yeah. Weed, and um, Golden Rod. But there's a certain Golden Rod that uh, is, is rare. It's only found in two counties in North Carolina. One of them is Watauga and the other one is Avery County. You can only see them growing out at the, uh, of the rock uh, ah. of the, the mountains close there. That's pretty neat. Anyway, it's the only place you'll ever see them. And it's just this particular type of golden rod. I think it's called Blue Ridge Golden Rod. But you have a Yadkin golden rod. A Yadkin? Mm -hmm. We have our own Yadkin Golden Rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not only pretty, you're intelligent. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know we had our own Golden Rock here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's there's Golden Rod that that is um, primarily down on the coast. That isn't up here. Huh. Yeah. Is it a variety or a different species, or? Um, it's just yeah, di different. Uh, I guess varieties. Yeah, be a variety. Yeah. yeah. Boy, I was uh, studying up on that the other day. Well, you have an exciting life, sitting watching bees. Mhm. Mm I'm so happy for Peter and Mary Ann. I really am. So glad. I'm relieved for them. Me too. They'll probably be leaving there, huh? I don't blame them. Well, you know, there's like I've said, there's a difference between leaving somewhere and being run off. Mm -hmm. And. UMP runs people off. They invite you there only to run you off. They don't know what they want. It's the same thing we, that we've been reading about the culture. They know they never know what they want, and then they complain. So we brought you what you want, but you don't want that now. But make up your mind. Somebody's being a crybaby over there. Well, when you do your work, they tell you, oh, you're making our professors look bad. Stop working. That's what they told me. Mm-hmm. You can't do your five projects. You're making these guys look bad. You have to stop. Yeah, well, that's not our problem. That's their fault. Why should we have to... Just pick two projects and do them. Well, yeah. they're finished. 
Well, then just, uh, you can stay on vacation. We came over here to uh, be about our science, not to be about, you yeah. know, if, if somebody can't handle it. I don't care if you look bad or not. People are still in the so stone that, age. So now you're going to make me look bad. Savages. Because you can't handle it. That's exactly what it was. I don't have to edit that out. Well, I'll dump this out. Well, you want to dump it in there? Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to dump it back in the bag. If you didn't want me to do <coughs> this yet. Well, I don't want you to get stunk. You know, they're pretty active right now. You have to, if, you, if you dump it, you're going to have to just go from the back and dump it real quick and then run. Well, I was thinking about just sprinkling just a little bit on that corner there, but it looks like they're pretty happy. If you want to do it, let me back out the video so I can get you doing it. Okay. The whole, all of this. Alright. Julie's going to sprinkle some bee food. Yeah, just a little snack. Yeah. And she is coming in from, she's coming in from the side of the hive, always. We've got, their water looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you approach the hive, you always approach it from the back or the side, never, never go direct. They'll smell that fresh stuff and go right to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, that's good. That's good enough. Yeah, you put some out last night, right? No, I didn't. You didn't? No. Nope. Look, this is one of those. This is like this is a sweat bee. Yeah. Called a farmer bee and a sweat bee. It's nice to get out, you know, this entomology. We know what we're looking at, you know what we're talking about. Sure is a difference from rocket science, but it's all tied in. Had I not been doing rocket science, I wouldn't be making bee food with the same technology that I used to make rocket fuel. You know? Mm-hmm. The same technology that makes the bee food is the same technology that makes the rocket fuel. How about that? Yep. Pretty neat. Yeah, from the space shuttle to the world, huh? The bees were already uptaking the bee food you put in. Yeah. I haven't seen Mr. Bumblebee come back. No, he's gone. I was thinking uh, on Monday, let's open the hive up and see if they started building in any of those empty frames. And yeah, if they have, we should st we should mark the frames. You know, oh, like A one, A two. Well, I meant to do that the other day. I need that pen. Huh? That, that red pen is over in that building. Yeah. We'll, we'll do that tonight. Okay. I don't want you getting stunned. I don't want, you know, let's not, you know, they're, they're, they're busy working right now. All right. Good morning, Diaz.
at the end of the day, and I'm already in my mind thinking all the things that I'm going to do the rest of the evening. I know. I don't think about that. Me either. Okay, I'm going to shut the video off.